Hi guys, we're just going to go um, through a few simple steps for creating your Kendone um, oil pastel work. All right, so as you can see, I've got some images of Kendone's work. Um, now, Kendone himself is, he's a living Australian artist. Um, he is super, super, super famous though. And as you can see, it's because he's, you know, found his niche in painting um, really well-known Australian landscapes, um, landmarks, and he loves to capture Australian culture as well, beach culture in particular, um, as well as our, you know, national treasures like the reef, okay? His work's super colourful, really playful, a little bit childlike, very similar to Sidney Nolan in that respect, I guess, just much more uh, bright, okay? And obviously, you know, slightly different subject matter. So I've got four images here that you can use as inspiration. If none of these particularly appeal to you, um, perhaps you could look up your own Kendone artwork. It does need to be Kendone though. So Sydney Harbour is something he really, really loved. And this, you know, there's two examples here, one at night and one at day. Um, this I thought was fun because if you wanted to, you could actually put your name on the Sydney Bridge. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah. Um, or the beach or the reef. I actually feel like doing... Let's go the reef, okay? So lots and lots of bright colours. So what we want to do pretty much is create all the imagery um, with oil pastel and then I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll use an ink wash for our background. So with this one I'd obviously use a blue wash, this one I'd use black, this I'd use probably two different blues or you know a blue and maybe a purple and for this one I would definitely use blue on one side and yellow on the other. All right, but we'll be creating all the small details with oil pastel. So if I come back to my reef, it doesn't need to be exactly the same, but what you'll notice about this is the composition is really well balanced, okay? There's no really obvious empty spaces. Even the empty spaces, he's put texture in to fill the space. So, if, you know, go, oh, there's nothing sitting in here and there's nothing sitting up there. However, he's created this texture in here to kind of fill that visual void. So, his fish are pretty basic in 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 shape um so for you if you know you don't feel like you're a very good drawer maybe this reef one is perfect for you all right so i'm going to start around here with this big fish it doesn't need to be exactly the same guys all right and we're just going to start by drawing and coloring in the body shape of the fish in yellow now remember when we use oil pastel, you, do, you don't need to press super hard, but you do need to use a little bit of pressure so that the colours are quite vibrant, okay? Now that fish has some blue spots. Um, I'm just going to go through and see what I can find. So I'm going to put in a kind of lavender coloured tail. I've found this kind of green. The great thing about oil pastels is that you can layer them, but only really if you're putting a dark colour over a light colour, which is why when I did the yellow body of the fish, I knew I would be able to um, pop the blue spots and stuff over the top. Here is a nice dark blue. So, blue spots. So you can make this, you know, as creative as you like. And it, it doesn't have to be exactly the same as Kendone's work, right? So I've got a fish in here. I'm just going to, like, literally now keep going in and drawing. Sorry, I'm probably blocking your view. Um, just keep going in and drawing different colour, different shaped um, fish, okay? Ooh, a few fluoro things would look kind of cool, don't you think? Um, so... Maybe what we could do even for this one is have some different um, examples of reef fish around so you, you know, can get, get, get a look at them. But as you can see from this artwork, they don't really look like fish. They're just shapes, okay? So don't get too 
um, caught up in what they look like. Let's just, you know, make sure that they're a basic fish shape. All right, you'll notice that he's got all of these kind of schools of fish. They look like they're just little shapes. Okay. Um, but what I'm really concerned about is creating uh, balance, visual balance, okay, which means making sure that I fill the space really well and I want it to mimic Ken Doan's work. So I'm going to keep it quite simple, okay, in the shapes I use. I'm actually going to leave that there so I can get another colour and come back over at the back. Um, and, you know, his work is so colourful. So don't be afraid to, to use colour and to, um, you know, sorry, people are walking past with bins, so it's a little bit loud. Don't be afraid to use colour and use shape, all right? And keep in mind that at the end, what you're going to be doing is um, putting that wash over the top. So you do need to press kind of hard so that you're getting plenty of that pigment on your on your page, okay? I'm not going to keep going. I just wanted to give you a really quick example of, you know, simple shapes, lots of bright colors, layering the oil pastels and reminding you about those techniques with the pressure and such, okay? So make sure you just keep whichever artwork you want to be inspired by close by so that you can keep referring to it and try and make it as similar as possible. Good luck.